Exactly right, Emily. About an hour ago, there was a, there was a red alert, uh, incoming rocket fire siren here in the city of Sterot Sterot. That is the city where life is only slowly returning back to a city of about 30,000 residents. Only yesterday, schools opened up again here. Not everyone, of course, is already back in the city because the city has been largely evacuated. And many people decide against coming back here exactly for that reason, because we had uh, incoming rocket alert sirens also throughout the past days in different southern communities. And today, also, also here in the city of Sterot, there is one rocket that was launched from the Gaza Strip. It fell in open area. There were no reports about injuries or damage. However, this of course reminds people of the weeks right after the war, where Sterot has gotten under very, very infrequent heavy rocket fire here. Uh, those citizens that only, as you can see, slowly are coming back. This strip mall here opened up again, and it is very uh, nice to see Sterot uh, that way because for the past months, basically since the beginning of the war, people have been leaving the city and have been evacuated to very, very different areas across the country, Emily. Uh, also, Pia, you know, still continued fighting in Gaza. As we know, it's a very sensitive uh, situation uh, with this hostage deal not coming any closer with Ramadan looming uh, beginning uh, on uh, March 10th. Uh, what can you tell us? Right, Emily. Well, fighting is continuing amid these reports about a possible evolving hostage deal, although the negotiations seem to be very uh, stalled. Uh, Hamas, a senior Hamas official, has told the Lebanese channel and Mayadeen that Hamas blames Israel for the stalemate in these talks. Israel not going down from its demands. Israel basically demands a list of those hostages who are still alive and could be included in a potential deal. Hamas, as of now, is not willing to provide such a list. This is part of the reason why Israel has decided against sending a delegation to Cairo. Hamas reportedly has sent a delegation to Cairo. This is where the hostage negotiation talks have been focused, uh, of course, with the mediation of the U.S. and also of Qatar. But basically, what Hamas demands is what Israel says it cannot uh, accept. Hamas demands a complete end to this war, a facilitation of the return of civilians to the northern Gaza Strip as well. And this is what Israel has time and again, time again said is not possible because the goal is still to uh, return the hostages, but also to go through with the war until Hamas Hamas is demolished. And of course, as this sort of deadline of Ramadan approaches, because Israel has said that if the hostages are not freed until Ramadan, which is slated to begin around the 10th of March, it will begin its ground incursion to Rafah, the southernmost city in the Gaza Strip, where almost half of Gaza's civilian population is sheltering. That would be a real escalation, the war in Gaza. However, of course, Emily, as you said, fighting is going on also amid these talks about another potential uh, deal. Fighting is focused on the southern area of Khan Yunis, specifically the Hamad neighborhood the Hamad residential complex where Israel in uh, the past hours has been operating, has been destroying, as uh, the recent army statement said, Hamas infrastructure weapon depots has raided apartments belonging to senior Hamas officials. Hamad, that is the area where the Israeli army says Hamas fighters and operatives have escaped to. Israel's uh, army also said that it has captured about 80 operatives of both Hamas and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. And all of that is happening as the humanitarian situation for the civilians is escalating, is exacerbating. The hospitals, specifically in northern Gaza, keep updating the numbers of children who died of malnutrition amid the pure lack of food and of water. And this comes also as we are hearing about more possible aid dropping, uh, air dropping operations of aid. We've seen the U.S. and Jordan doing that in recent days. Now the PA has sent a delegation to Turkey, to Ankara, including the Palestinian Authority's President Mahmoud Abbas. He's meeting with Erdogan and reportedly also now Turkey is considering to send aid via airplanes, which is considered the less uh, uh, the less good option because you can simply distribute less aid and there's also no control over the distribution of aid but we have seen that the distribution of aid via trucks has become almost impossible in the Gaza Strip and this again uh, as famine is really looming in specifically the northern part of the Gaza Strip but the UN said that for over a month no aid truck has reached Emily